I put random things at the end of the videos just so people know. Alright guys, so this is going to be an update video, like I said. Well, I don't know if anyone's seen this, but I, I usually make one like every two weeks or something like that. So this would be like my fourth or third one of some sort. Even though I only have seven subscribers and one invisible one, I don't know how the fuck you do that. I, I'm so confused on that. I googled that shit and I still don't understand how you did it, but whatever. Whatever. As people may know, the Pokemon games, there's two Pokemon games coming out within maybe a week week or two time and those pokemon games are pokemon conquest which is coming out in america in english there's a fucking cheap ass english patch that doesn't it's pretty much worthless it translates yeah what the battle shit is and the fucking text but it doesn't translate the game story like what kind of bullshit is that why would you want to do that like what's the point of even getting it it's fucking retarded but yeah the fucking naku bath <laughs> Pokemon Conquest and Pokemon Black and White 2 are going to be coming out within a week or two times. Now, I am going to do a Pokemon Conquest playthrough. Also, I am going to do a Pokemon Black and White 2 playthrough. Yes, uh, usually the ROMs, usually they take, a, they usually take like maybe a day or two, or maybe a, if they get like a real good ROM, it usually takes like a week until you get a really good ROM. So the games I'm playing right now, the only games I'm playing right now is Spore, which I usually play for like 30 minutes and I upload them, like one every single day. I have I have two parts in waiting right now and the Pokemon, Pokemon Light Platinum, which I really like, but that game is created weird. I like the look, it can actually pass as a real Pokemon game. But, as obviously, it's not a real Pokemon game um, per se, but it's a ROM hack. And I am playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, which is a damn good game. I actually brought in one of my friends, uh, one of my only friends, <laughs> my best friend that I've known for like fucking seven years. Um, we actually, we did a dual com per se, or however you say it. He's just another voice. He's not, he can't really make... Decent voices. I can't make decent voices, so it's just basically us making stupid ass voices during that playthrough. Now, Phoenix Wright is actually a really good game. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be a really good game because it's not really. Uh, there's not really. I don't know how to put this. There's not like gameplay in it, so you're not like fucking rocking around shooting people like pa 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 pa, or you're like you're going around like questing or traveling the world or anything like that. It's basically like. You, it's just like, it's like a story. I guess it's like, kind of like a book somehow, but it's interactive, sort of. It's like, I don't know. It was actually a really good game. My friend, he was like, okay, man, this game kind of sounds stupid, but I'll give it a try. I'll, I'll do the thing with you. If I like it, then we'll do more. And he ends up liking it, even though I'm on like, case two. So, I've actually been doing that game for a while, and that game's actually really good. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Uh, or... It, it may be a little different because sometimes there's games that you could watch, but they are better when you play them yourself, which I feel Phoenix Wright is like, but like that. But um, Phoenix Wright for me, I guess my playthrough is just me fucking up. But when I played with film, I actually had like a second opinion, and I actually did pretty damn well in cases. So now, as for games that are lined up later in the future, like I said, I will be doing Pokemon Black and White too. Pokemon Conquest, and there's actually another game, uh, it's called 999, it's like 9 people, 9 rooms, 9 doors, or something like that, and it's basically, you got 9, nine hours to escape out of, like, a sucking ship, I believe it's, it's a Japanese game, so it's gonna be kind of weird, as all Japanese games are, if you've ever played them, if you ever played Fatal Frame, that game, Fucking concept is just stupid. Like you pitch someone, is like, yeah, you got, you got a fucking camera, and then you, you, you take pictures and you take, uh, you t souls, fucking souls. Like yeah, it, it sounds stupid, but uh, hopefully it looks pretty good from what I've seen of it. I only read the description of the game, and I'm actually gonna be doing like the top 25 best uh, DS game uh, thingy where I'm gonna play all those games on that list. Uh, so that probably hold me off for like a whole year of doing this shit. Even though I don't really care if I get noticed or anything. I just, I'm just doing it for fun. And if I ever get noticed, I guess that's kind of cool or something. Like, I don't know. I'd be kind of weird. He was like, oh, I like your gameplays. Or like, oh, I like you fucking up. Because that's pretty much what I do. Like that Legend of Zelda playthrough. 
I got parts taken off YouTube for some reason. Why? I know, like, for a little while, I started putting random shit in the description. And I think for multiple, my, uh, link, <laughs> multiple in the description things, I put hentai as a thing, and I guess someone flagged it. Because they're like, this is a hentai? Obviously, it's gameplay. Why would there be a hentai on YouTube? <laughs> Pomp, motherfucker. Pomp. Alright, so I guess that's it. Uh, so until next time, stay cool, and I don't think I have anything random to put at the end of the videos. Oh. Smoke weed every day, smoke weed, smoke weed every day, smoke weed.